Oh, hi folks, I'm Mike. Welcome to my channel. If you've seen my videos, then you know it's all about Pinewood Derby racing. So recently I've had some people contact me with requests. The video I just finished, the wheel shaver video, was because of a request. Well, someone else has just requested that I make a video testing the speed difference between graphite and oil. And I thought that was a wonderful idea. So in today's video, I'm gonna take one of my backup basics cars that's already prepped on oil. I'm gonna put it down the track four times. Then I'm gonna take it apart, prep it for graphite, and then I'm gonna reassemble it and put it down my track four more times. So stay with me. You might find this interesting. So folks, in the past, when someone would ask me what the difference in speed was between graphite and oil, I must admit, my answer was normally a bit of a guess. After all, the cars that I race using oil also have good axles. They also have machined wheels. The few cars that Reese and I assembled using graphite were using stock wheels and stock axles. So in today's test, I plan on using this backup basics car I've got. Now, because it's already been prepped for oil, I'll just add a little oil to the head and put it down my track four passes. Then I'll take this car apart and reprep both the wheels and axles for graphite and give it four more passes. So here we go. Pass one. Pass two. You know what? I think that car wiggled. Here, let's try the next pass. Yeah, that car's wiggling. I'm gonna add a quarter inch of steer before I make this last pass. We'll see what it does. Okay, so if it doesn't wiggle, this will be the last pass. Yeah, that's what I thought this car would run. Okay, so for me, there weren't any surprises there. I knew exactly what this car was gonna run. For me, the real surprise will be to see how fast this car runs on graphite. Now, although I've never taken a wheel from oil to graphite before, here's my plan. I'll use a very fine liquid abrasive. In this case, I'm using the number two Turbo Derby. And I'll polish both the bores and the hubs. Now, I'll also use the number two on the axles because I feel the need to remove all of the jigaloo. And then I'll soak the axles in acetone for a while and then alcohol. Now, while the axles are soaking, I'll take the wheels to my sink I'll scrub them down and I'll clean out the bores. Then I'll blow them out with high pressure air. I'll add the number three wax sealant and then I'll burnish both the hubs and the bores with graphite. After reassembling, I'll just add a little bit of graphite to the head of the axle. So here we go, time to test the graphite. Whoa, that car must be wiggling. 3004. First pass, I'm gonna give it another shot. If it's real slow like that still, I'm gonna tap up the steer. Two, nine, nine, two. Yeah, I think this car's got a little wiggle. So I'm gonna tap up the steer. It's noticeably louder on graphite. Yep, 2.986. All right, one more pass. Noticeably, noticeably louder. Well, there you have it. This Basics on oil ran a 2.944. The same car with the same wheels and axles on graphite ran a 2.984. So it appears the difference between oil and graphite is 40 thousandths of a second. Now it might be a sliding scale. So in other words, if I were to use a lighter wheel, would I see the same results? I don't think so. My MA car with 1.2 gram wheels can run a 2.905 on this track. It's difficult for me to believe that the same car on graphite could run a 2.945. That seems pretty fast for a graphite car. But, you know, I may be wrong. Maybe I'll test that in the future. If you've made it this far, I would have to assume you're as addicted to this little hobby as I am. So please, if you're interested, like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to pick a name at random and send that person some laser cut bodies. And we'll see you on the next one.